Hey everyone, we are back. We are back with Sekiro, now featuring on the PlayStation 5. Uh, this is the first episode I'm actually recording. I, of course, checked whether my file kind of imported over. Um, do I have the aroma fountain head? I guess I do. The thing is, it's been kind of a while. It's been a hot minute since I've um, played this game or like recorded this game. So I don't really remember what I said I was going to do. I remember. I said that we would kind of explore Ashina Castle a little bit because we did the Moron Blade quest line, which is good. This is not good. I forgot these guys stay hostile to you. Um, what, the, what the fuck was that? Okay, ignore me. So immediately I get myself into trouble. But this is gonna be perfect to readjust to this game. First of all, I'm pretty powerful now. So, these guys are not gonna be too much of a problem, yeah. I honestly thought that these guys disappear once you, uh, like, speak to, or, like, defeat Genichiro. But I guess that's not the case. So, yeah, the reason I wanna explore Ashina is, first of all, that's where we need to go. Oh, we need to go to the... What the fuck are you doing? We need to go to the monkey area. And there's also like treasure here and shit. Plus I missed a lot of the items here. I forgot they do, do that. <laughs> okay. Oh well. See the disadvantage of that tactic when your opponent can resurrect is I think fairly obvious. This is not the area where you can... I can't. I can't. God damn it. I wanted to drop attack him. Okay, this is not the best start here. Okay, so I think I've figured out where we need to go. Um, after that part, where we just beat these guys. We beat ass. Did I not collect this treasure chest? Okay. Thank fuck I went the wrong way. Because this is... Okay. Yes. Oh. Opening chests gives you bullet immunity as well. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to do. Man, this game runs so much better. Here on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, this is the place. It's kind of like... Back area of Ashina Castle. There's like actually enemies and stuff here. And I think there's a quest line for this place too. I'm so gonna drop on this guy. Of course I will. Let's say I'm gonna drop on a motherfucker. You better believe it. Stop hugging the walls. That's like the second time he's done that. And there's also, weirdly, a sculptor's idol here. Because there is um, not even a side area. Like an actual area here. But first we will take a look this way. This is the grave. First of all, there's a dragon droplet whatever here um what the hell <laughs> nice i like it um but this is there is this is like also a story bit if i remember correctly uh it's needed for one of the endings 
So I'm gonna try going for one of the endings where you actually... There he is! There he is, the potato merchant. Nice. This guy sells some good shit if I remember correctly. I love this dude. Look at, I mean, just look at him. Black hat badger. We are sociable, of course. It, it like never is like um, made clear whether he's the only one that can talk like that or whether all of these like potato, potato motherfuckers are actually conscious whatevers and we're just like murdering them. Oops, I keep skipping the dialogue. Bite down is pretty good. This is pretty good as well. I'm gonna get a bite down because I'm gonna get both bite downs because that is uh, again a very good item. You can like cheat some bosses with it or like some enemies. And you know what? I am going to get Iron Fortress. Because why not? It's a prosthetic tool. Um, oh yeah, he's leaving. He's going to Sempu. That's good, because there's like a... quest line for him as well. Okay, so we're gonna do some murdering down here. Whoa, okay, chill. I knew there was something fucky about this area. And it's there is a motherfucker with a cannon. Don't worry. I got a solution for him. Get your cannon out of here, bitch. I think I just got shot out of the air. Cool, your little alarm is gone. Still getting blasted from somewhere. Or oh, these two. And him. You gotta be real careful because these guys have like armor. Not even armor, but they just don't give a shit about you attacking them. Cool. Well, we handled that pretty well, with zero finesse and stealth, but sometimes you just want to go for the combat system, you know. Okay, so I think that's basically it for that area, um, or like this general portion uh, is just to get Black Hat Badger, who is again very important and also the grave again, the grave will be pretty significant later on oh shit could have Mikirit him That was a grab. That wasn't a uh, Mikiri, that was a grab.
Did he just straight up kill? I straight up just got killed. I thought this guy, I, th I remember this guy being easier. Whatever. Oh god, the load times are so much better. Not sure what I even have to edit anything out anymore. Because let me tell you, the load times in this game on PlayStation 4 were not the best. Okay, this guy's impossible to fucking... Eat a fucking flame vent. Cool. Much better. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That dude had a bad time. Yeah, these guys have eavesdropping. I don't think this is anything significant. You don't have to solve the people, don't worry. Oh man, do I have some salt generation for you? Fire up Mortal Kombat. Oh, this guy's not even a mini boss. I thought he was. But I guess he's not. He's pretty cool though. He has like a unique look. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Listen, nobody said you cannot get creative with this game's combat system. And here we go. There's gonna be some straight up monkey murder going down here told you what the <laughs> this game <laughs> this game is fucked up I think you can even shuriken these ones yeah I th yeah you can like what an asshole it's like monkeys just chilling in this like weed bush and just brutalize them Oh yeah, this dude is here. Which is good because he has quest lines, more quest lines, right? He knows us now. Yeah, these purple ninjas, we're gonna be um, fighting them later. I have. What? What are you talking about, boy? Unbelievable. Am I missing like some... I swear I've learned from his skill tree. Yeah, whatever. So what we're gonna do here is um, we're going to activate our new prosthetic tool. Because this one is... Well, see, I haven't really used this one. Uh, I got it kind of late. But I know that it has some later, and up later upgrade where it can, I believe, deflect even like magic and shit like that. Because this is the idea. It's like a shield and you can like move under it and all that, all that good stuff. It protects against like, but which actually, I'm just thinking where we're going. 
to gum for it. This might actually be a good item. I didn't even think about this. Yeah, this is going, going to be useful. Hey, nice. Naisu, naisu. What I was gonna see, going to say before I fell off the fucking cliff is that, you know, I warped to the wrong place. In PlayStation 4 version of this game, that would be mad annoying and I'd be pissed. This version, it don't even matter. Like, it loads so quickly that just nothing even... My salt levels didn't even go up, even just a little bit. Um, so I guess those guys uh, previously were are out of luck still. You can't get me salty anymore. Anyways, this cliff area is pretty solid, from what I remember. Just gotta, you know, make it through. Sometimes these idle placements are weird in this game too, not gonna lie. Because we can go that way, but I'm pretty sure that there is... Uh, Oh, hello there. Forgot you guys are here. And that's the thing that I forget. Like, there's this path, like going backwards. I'm gesturing, even though the perspective is not correct. Um, and there's this path. Sunken Valley. Motherfuck. Let's test it. It does work. It does work. That's super good. Because I'm going to be honest with you. This area can get mad annoying with all these fuckers shooting at you. This isn't Call of Duty. This is the path I don't remember, like I said. Just shimmying along. This area, I don't know why. It might be like a weird... Reference point. Where the shit are we? Uh, but this area always reminded me of Metroid Prime. The first one, you know, that like winter area. Or the ice area. I straight up do not remember this area. And we have enemies somewhere. Oh, there you are. Cool. I'm somehow killing them very quickly. Which is a little bit strange because I don't think I'm that like overpowered or anything like that. Oh, yeah, there is. See, people have been telling me to get the... The breathing technique, technique. And Breath of Life as well, that's what people said I should get. Not the Isaac item. Because I'm pretty sure you can dive here. You know, this water must be cold as a motherfucker. Cool, so I can, I think, so cool, I think we can add that area to the ever-growing list of Mr. Sketch had didn't really play Sekiro properly the first time, he was kind of rushing, and then he missed a bunch of shit list. It's quite a long list at this point, it's quite a long list, because half the time I forget where I need to go back. Oh, you're gonna get stealth so badly. Told you.
Reminds me always when I when I see the messages that I should go offline. It makes it a little bit more visually appealing. But then this game finally has an online mode, so maybe I shouldn't skip it. Skip out on it. I thought I was gonna fall off there. Oh. I know the solution to you. Lizard. Just kill it. Poor reptile. I think this is the big area where they like really start showing up. Right? I think there's like three of them behind that cliff. Specifically remember it because I got killed really badly here. It was kind of a weird saying. I got killed badly because... You know. Is there a good way to get killed? I don't think so. Shit. I missed out. Maybe I can be clever here. This doesn't give a fuck. Bruh. That is very, very... Pay attention near the cliff, kids. Fine, you're just gonna get... Killed, I was gonna say. <gasps> this is the one with the fucking shotgun. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so I was way quicker there, so yes. Nice ooh. That's all I wanted. God, why am I so bad? Fuck. Okay. I thought I used to be better at fighting these enemies. That's definitely a Mikiri move. Fucking hell. I don't remember them being such a pain in the ass. No! <clears throat> hey, hey, there's like a little secret area here. How the hell did I miss that the first time around? Probably because I don't know this area that well. Oh, what was that? You see he did like a cool little flip. Okay, I'm like completely going off the beaten path. And... I guess we'll find out if that's a good thing. But what the... Oh, okay. Gotcha, fam. And this is where the memorial mob is, right? Or not? This is a gourd seat here. Damn, I didn't know this was here. That's nice. That is <clears throat> what we would officially call on the Mr. Sketchhead channel as Naisu. Alright, let's get back to the initial area. Cool. I think we're gonna give this guy a hard time. Whatever. Okay, I didn't get the... Maybe I didn't get the fucking, like, backstab, but it worked anyways. Okay, now this is the dude. He's, like, flipping around like an idiot. I mean, that's very fancy, but you're dead. And those enemies get a uh, no-ying, believe me. I'll probably use my 
umbrella a little bit more if I did bother getting it oh, this is a this is a cool part though it's not my favorite area in the entire game honestly but but even I can admit where the cool parts are and this is one of them we okay I'm gonna shut up And this is why you have your umbrella. Hey, Rihanna sang about it like a long time. Fuck! <sighs> okay, so we're gonna need to like... Ha! What up, assholes? Don't even think about shooting at me. I think we're covered here. This is where the mini boss is. Yep. Oh shit. Damn. Okay. That pierces. Brutal. Yeah, this pierce is... I gotta get her more out into the open. That's a she, by the way. Okay. That's one. I should Sabimaru her. You can, you definitely can poison her, because I've done it before. Yep. And it does wonders to her... ...posture. Okay, so that mini-boss can be a struggle. Uh, that was actually fairly smooth. Um, comparatively. I'm sorry, Snake Eyes, you're kind of cool, but you do what you have to do, right? Okay, now this doesn't make us safe from all the other guys that are gonna be, yep, shooting at you. But we do have a little back entrance, I'm guessing. Fuck, there's a lot of them. Oh! This don't even matter. What a bitch is. <laughs> I've never had this. This is normally so difficult. I mean, you do take posture damage, but... There's also a hole in the fucking bridge. Never mind. Never mind. We made it. Should have paid attention. Mind the gap or something. Uh, we just need to figure out where the fuck we go from here. See, the thing is, this is, I've talked about this before, right? Sort of. I've briefly... Oh, there you are. Okay. I've briefly covered it, that... 
a lot of the prosthetic tools in this game are like monotaskers. Like, they're good against one particular enemy. Or one particular boss and that's about it. And I'm guessing this umbrella is exactly like that. Because I can't imagine this shit being useful for any other area, I'm gonna be honest with you. Can't think of a place where you'd use this thing against like a boss or something. I know it can deflect like the um, like certain magics and shit like that. But still, you know. I should have st stealth this guy. Oh, ho, ho. that was accidental, and it somehow worked beautifully. Don't ask me how I did that. Okay. Normally, shit like that doesn't tend to work out, but there it did. And there's two of these fuckers. And I have zero healing items. I have pellets, and that's about it. Hmm. Maybe the time has come. Maybe the time hasn't come. Oh God, these guys. The shotguns. You know what? Do I have a solution here? We'll come back for you next time, I swear. It's just I'm a little low on resources and I kind of don't want to die. That's how you do it. Cool. Well, that was the gun fort and the sunken valley. Pretty cool, right? I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the first PlayStation 5 episode of Sekiro. Uh, you know, I've been kind of like on the Demon Souls grind, but this game, I'm going to finish this game. I'm enjoying this game. The playthrough is fun. It's so much better on PS5. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual. Catch all of you later. Peace out and goodbye.